Well, what is the cat deja vu? The feline introduced in the first Matrix returned in Matrix Resurrections, officially named deja vu. This iconic program is much more than meets the eye. So in this video, we will be analyzing Deja Vu, the cat, its meaning, its purpose, and what it hides. The analyst's furry pet is not what you think. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Deja vu. The introduction of the black cat is quite memorable because it explains the strange phenomenon that we all have experienced at least once in our lives. To explain what this cat is, we must first understand what deja vu is. The word deja vu comes from the French language, which means already seen. It's the indescribable feeling we get when we see something and somehow remember that we've seen it before, but we can't remember when or if we actually saw it. The concept of deja vu is used as part of the Matrix mythology. But what does deja vu mean in the world of the Matrix? Deja vu usually represents a failure in the simulation. It happens when the agents or other programs like the architect or the analyst change something in the simulation. So as Trinity explains, Deja vu is usually a glitch in the Matrix. It happens when they change something. When deja vu occurs in the Matrix, it means that the code of the simulated reality is being altered in real time. The effects of Deja Vu not only happen in the Matrix movies. The comic book, conveniently titled Deja Vu, is the story of a woman who suffered issues inside her pod in the real world and began to experience reoccurring Deja Vu within the Matrix. This suggests that Deja Vu is indeed an error or inconsistency in the simulation, but this is only a side effect of the real problem, that something is changing the Matrix code, either intentionally or due to a system failure. Deja vu is a side effect of the cat's actions. We've seen the cat a few times already. It appeared in the first movie and also in Matrix Revolutions after the architect restarted the Matrix following Neil's victory over Smith. Then in Matrix Resurrections, the cat's purpose was confirmed. Since the beginning of humanity, cats have played an important role in various cultures and civilizations. Its presence has been in every aspect of people's lives. The cat also has a deep cultural and spiritual significance. In ancient Egypt, the relationship between cats and humans was of special reverence. The Egyptians viewed cats as domestic animals as well as sacred beings. The goddess Bastet is often illustrated as an anthropomorphic cat, a humanoid cat who was worshipped as a deity. She symbolized the home, fertility, and motherhood, and was believed to protect homes from evil spirits and illness. Additionally, cats were respected for their ability to hunt down rodents and snakes thus protecting people's food and environment. Killing a cat in ancient Egypt was considered a serious crime. In Greek and Roman mythology, cats also had their place, although not as central as in Egypt. In these cultures, cats were associated with the goddess Diana, also known as Artemis in Greek mythology, the goddess of hunt. This was due to cats' natural hunting abilities. They represented independence, freedom, and cunning, qualities that are highly valued in those societies. Cats were seen as intelligent and autonomous animals, capable of surviving and thriving in both urban and rural environments. There was even a time where witches were believed to use cats to access hell. Thus, they were persecuted and killed by the Catholic Church for years. It is believed that the bubonic plague would not have decimated the population as much as it did if it had not been for the irrational fear that existed against cats during those times. Fears caused by superstitious beliefs allowed infected rats to multiply at a rapid rate and spread the Black Plague. Of course, the cat's purpose in the Matrix is more philosophical than historical. The function of this program is a more literal one. So what is the cat in the Matrix? Well, its main function is to modify the Matrix in real time. When changes occur in the simulation, this program intervenes to ensure that the inhabitants of the Matrix, that is, the people connected to it, forget any disruptive events or errors. This continues the continuity and stability of the simulation, preventing users from detecting irregularities or abrupt changes. It was thanks to this program that no one remembers the invasion of the Smiths or the battle between Neo and Smith that destroyed much of Mega City. The feline's ability to alter the perception of reality makes it a key tool for maintaining order and control within the simulation. This is why the cat was used by the architect and why now it has a new master who is much crueler than the father 
and has no reservations about using the cat's abilities to cause harm to humanity. In Matrix Resurrections, it appears that the cat is being forced to work for the analyst. Why do we believe this? Because it runs away after Smith goes after the analyst. Then the cat makes one last appearance, being carried and petted by Neo. Tiffany? Yeah, definitely asked for that. Oh, God. Can't you control her? We have a few questions. This cat is possibly one of the most powerful programs within the simulation. We believe that the cat's purpose is to be the administrator key. It is a tool that allows access to change reality. The architect used the cat to start, end, and restart the matrix. Then it was taken by the analyst and used against Neo. A couple of examples is when Neo tried to leap off the roof, or when he was trying to get away from Smith in the Deus Machina building. Now we don't believe that the cat is a sentient program with a consciousness, rather it may be the representation of the simulation's master key. Also it sets a goal for the resistance, because if Neo or anyone else managed to capture and use the deja vu cat, they can change everything. Neo does have the power to modify the simulation, but he does not have the ability to modify or erase people's memories. Perhaps the cat is the key to making everyone remember the truth. Maybe whoever controls the cat controls everything. But do you agree? Is the deja vu cat that important? Do you even like cats? The day-to-day -day routine can feel like an endless cycle. Waking up can feel almost impossible, but not for us at Simulate. We have the best variety of coffee and hot beverages to help you wake up to a new life. Stop by our establishment where you'll also find a great selection of literature to go with your coffee. And who knows, you might even come across a familiar face. Have we met? Simulate, the best cafe in Mega City, because there is only one way, and that is Simulate. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.